I need to do something about my hair. It doesn't look good. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of me, Pondol, playing Terraform Craft. Terraform Doll, yes. And I decided that we should be having some face time here. Uh, mind you, some things may have changed. As you can remember, I did say that I will move to my new apartment, and this is it now. The sound might sound a bit different in comparison to what it was. And uh, there is a room echoes everywhere. I need to get rid of those at some point. So yes, this is something that I wanted to say now. Yeah, so that you wonder. And um, let's get to the business now. So before I moved in, I actually uh, recorded some clips doing the ordinary stuff, you know, harvesting the crops, replanted them. Then I was tending the bees. Because they need my attention, and now I actually need to take care of them because it is springtime and they spread and everything like that. So, so I collected some honey too because I will need that. And uh, scraping the beehives, of course, is very important because I need to seal bricks and wax for different things, like a vat that I need to make uh, from the thermal mud. I think it too. Four or five pieces, I do not know. <laughs> yes. And then uh, I made some compost too, because I'm thinking of making a new um, greenhouse. Yes. But yeah, after doing that, I did some uh, terraforming uh, and shaping under the tower of food, because pouring lava through the walls down to the ocean. It made me uh, Gapro flat uh, or flat Gapro areas there, and um, I told you that shaping it a bit at this point might be a good idea. So I did that, and then I found this. Mm. Okay, now I have to admit this is interesting. <laughs> Whatever happened to it? Oh, there's a skeleton trying to kill me too. <laughs> Yeah, I was having some problems with trying to get rid of this lava here and I actually threw away my ultimate bucket and I came down here to find it But apparently it went into the lava and now it is gone <laughs> But I, I do have a ship now. Now I'm intrigued to see what happens if I actually pour that one Is it a submarine? Oh, yes, you, you are here. I, I think I should actually Hmm. <laughs> Get rid of you first. Yes. How about some underwater fighting here? Where is the skeleton? Yes, I'm coming for you. Thank you very much. That was rather easy. So now, <laughs> the ship, the actual, oh. Uh, Captain Kurgles, I think I will have to kill you now. I know you would have liked to have that boat. But, but, but you left it by, per, uh, by yourself, so... Yes. Can we get to it? Or the ship, so to speak. Um, no. <laughs> Louis, um, could you help me a little bit? I have so much stuff in my inventory that it is driving me crazy. Yes, can you take those? And those. Those I think I will need too. Take the blueprint bushes too. How about these two? And now, let's see, uh, I've come to understand that you cannot collect the small ships, ships when they are tossed into water for the first time, it will be also the last time. I cannot board it, I think. Yeah, I can only access it in inventory, but yes. <laughs> oh! Copper ingot. This is vanilla, I think. But yeah, we cannot take the boat from here, so we will have to make ourselves the green one that I was actually going to do <laughs> before I totally get on a sidetrack. Yes. <laughs> oh, you are coming a bit, bit. Oh, that's. <laughs> he was hungry, apparently. 
<laughs> Craziness. I love it. <laughs> yes, so at this point it had, had become quite apparent that I needed a new boat because the old one was kind of submerged. <laughs> so I started making myself some wool. And uh, at first I was a bit worried that uh, this will won't be enough until I remember <laughs> that it actually gives you eight pieces of wool when you compare four cloths. So, so. My mind, <laughs> yes, uh, it does not keep things in it, uh, yes. Oh, it looks magnificent! Take a look at this beautiful green thing! Oh, yes! Ha 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 ha! Oh, a bit dark, but so am I. <clears throat> I think it was something like this. Not quite sure, uh, but yes. Ah, unfinished tool belt. Something has been added, 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 added. Yes, added to the GFC Rosa. And this is a tool belt. And now I'm testing out what kind of a thing is this. So we. Yes, we can place tools in it, which is quite surprising when you are thinking about having a yes. Uh, well, no, <laughs> this is very nice. The, it would be even better if I could, could wear it somehow. Oh, I can wear it in my off hand here, not naturally. But yes, tool belt, a new thing in TFC Rosa. So yes, that has been tested. So now, let us talk about what is going to happen in here. Um, there is something. <laughs> yes, around here, Louis is carrying the booms of the day for me, and uh, I have the ship ship going on as well. So, this is episode number forty-two, the meaning of life. We all know that forty-two, yes, is the meaning of life. No questions about it. Um, even Joe, um, the good old uh, Monty Python, did make a great movie. Telling us about the meaning of life and what is it all about? Is there heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Do heaven or hell? Do we reincarnate? Yes, everybody remember that. It remembers that movie and it was a great one. But before we get to the subset about meaning of life, we have some stuff to do. One, we need to explore stuff. Two, we need to explore stuff more. There it is. A beautiful volcanic island and I think the Malachite was somewhere around here on this side and this little beautiful thing is actually limestone so there, is, there are several reasons why I would like to boom all of this down because uh, it is not only limestone but it is also basalt the beautiful black rock so uh, it might be that I might do some mining around here uh, but but I do need some iron too. <laughs> so yes, I I between between in between of uh, should I just blast this island from this side and from the other side where it is basalt to get limestone and basalt and more building materials that might look better than the ones that we have now because I'm not satisfied with some of the quality or the color palette or the. Whatever, yes, the claystone is actually so ugly that your mother looks like a queen. Yes, aha, there is the Malachite, I think. Yep, so we will stop the boat here. Dish. Yes. Where should we boom it? Where is the place for take a boom? Pacific Rim, another advancement they made. Now there is probably a skeleton or a creeper who wants to kill us. But we are not seeing it. That's good. Yes, it seems that we are going to boom it right here. Yes, we take it off our back. We place it carefully here. And maybe here. Yes, and then we just. <laughs> <laughs> that easy it is when you know what you are doing. If you know what you are doing, and then Louis, I think it's your time to shine. Right now, how are we going to get up there again? <laughs> I do not know. I think we missed a win a bit. 
It's not a rub problem. Come on. Oh, Jumpy! Where is it? Is it any of our concerns? I don't know. But our inventory is clocked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are there! Hello, Zombie! <laughs> yeah, you can stay in there. Uh, we don't have to introduce ourselves to each other, don't we? Yeah, just stay in there. Have a good life. Oh, yes, there it is. The basalt that I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, how do we get this out from here? We are going to place it right there. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to get some of the lava. Lava. Is if there is any. But, um, but let's say check if we can get up there and now we can use the beautiful satchel that we met in the last episode. It works like this because I noticed yeah it is a great, great place for, for the vanilla jetpack. Yeah. 16 pieces one slot. Always letters with you. It is very nice and cool. Now, how are we going to get away from... Aha! I think I have a plan. Uh, we have this here. Void. And then we have a saw. Yes. But considering the option of placing it around, around here and maybe we just soothe it out a bit. Uh, and one thing that I really like about this tool is that you can actually remove tools two like this from it. So, the item that we wanted was the last one. I wonder... Oh, a small sample of bismuth. Bismuth. Yes, but well, I don't think that we need bismuth, but uh, we could hit it. It wouldn't be bad. We don't need it either, so yes. <laughs> uh, boom! You get out of my boom, 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 boom. But before we get to that one, we will give us a bit of a helper thing in here. So we are going to want you E4. And now this should be safe, fun, and without any risks of failing and dying. Yes, I know. I've been telling people that death is inevitable. But I actually don't try that often. Sometimes, sometimes it threatens me. Yeah, I would really like to have it, or I would really like if it actually made some kind of an explosion noise. Yes, because we are blowing huge pitch <laughs> of stuff, you know, at a time. And all it makes is for a little ping, if even that. Oh, and we did not get that much basalt. I should have also emptied my inventory before we started doing this. <laughs> yes. Now, I think what we are, I should do here is... Uh, uh, this, I think, should be cool. I also took my buckets so that we can take some of this stuff. I've been made, making the lamps in the base uh, and uh, it's consuming lava. Lava. Yes, and now we have more. <laughs> Such a nice thing. And what I'm also going to do is, I'm, I mean, we, this is all we got from the other hall. The, yeah, this is not really much of basalt. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mine some of it manually. Yes, believe it or not, I shall make my hands dirty trying to collect some basalt here. And we're going to, yeah, do something like this. And I'm just gonna, just gonna spend a lot of time with this. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this working. Cavins, please. Cavins. Cavins, Cavins. Collapse. <laughs> Why don't you collapse? Do it. Now I have to mind it myself. Ah, how boring as to be. Because if you collapse, then. It the slaps will oh yeah like this <laughs> and then i can just collect it and not using my pick because i yeah i, I was thinking I, I should collect myself some raw basalt slaps too 
and I, I think I'm going to get some of those because it actually does look quite nice I think like this um, yes not very much room here plenty yes uh -huh. Oh, this is risky, actually. <laughs> yes! I'm not worried. I will survive this little drop here, if, I, if it ever happens, I think. So, yes. Cave in! Destroy this lap for me so that I don't have to mind it. <laughs> no. Oh, there we go. Now the slaps are loose and I can just go down and collect them. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And then, mm hmm. Yes. Slabs. Slab. Huh? Here, here, here. Oh, well, that's not very effective and at all, actually. <laughs> yes. I wonder if the polished stuff look any better. Oh, this is actually quite nice looking. Ain't it? Ah! Oh, are we making stuff like this? Probably. See how dark that is. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Yes, she's on the thing. And we are going to probably make some of. Oh, that is actually not very nice. Sorry. Killing lava? Yes, I know. Or maybe we dropped a couple from here. No. No. <laughs> well, I guess I will have to mind it then. <laughs> I was kind of, yeah, yeah, there's probably a way to do this, good, a, a good way to do this, yes, do it, do it, do it, do, do. But, but I haven't found it yet, I, I will have to investigate at some point, because it is, for some reason I want things to happen faster <laughs> than slower, I am getting impatient, I don't know why, but I am, yes, oh, I have found something, the chisel bricks actually all have their different oh <laughs> it's trying to kill me damn you mountain <laughs> 62 of health left oh 90 already yeah i really should carry some um yes that was hot spring water with me uh by the way when you are collecting stones um i tend to cause cavings on purpose, because harvesting this is actually faster and easier than collecting the stones and then combining ten, them into cobblestones. So yes, um, I try to provoke cavings. It is, it gives me more pleasure to the actual job. It is funnier, and it kind of makes makes it more interesting because the death that we talked about becomes a bit more. Um, of a threat, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I found a bismuth. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I suppose it is a small vein because uh, it is apparently only limestone and the fillers start from there. Uh, so, yeah, it is most likely that I, uh, I'm i not going to find anything huge here, but, but I'm going to look, look for it anyway because it's fun, <laughs> yes. And this mountain is really getting very angry to me. <laughs> I mean, yes, uh, I, I kind of know when they are. Yeah, this one is very angry to me. Uh, I, I, I think I really should leave it alone already. But, but, but I'm a bit curious about this. <laughs> yes, this muffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a lot. We need any of these people, but I just. Kind of intrigued, yeah. Um, a rich limestone bismuth. Well, it is rich. It yeah, uh, and it is actually showing you. Well, yeah, but I found bismuth, but this is it is only traces, and I suppose suppose this is the vein actually. So so yeah, it it is not much. It is very small, very small vein. Hmm. But yes, I think it's time for me to leave back to home or get back to home it is six kilometers chat away home such a nice place oh this used to look so much better <laughs> <clears throat> now i do have several reasons for 
why I wanted limestone. One of the reasons is that it is actually a flux stone, so I'm going to need it for lime water and such. But also, I have been thinking about making the walls out of limestone bricks. Because I kind of like the color, and also I do have some conglomerate. <laughs> yes. And um, I did check this out, and uh, I think it looks quite nice too. <laughs> so, so yes, uh, not the easiest stones to get, but I have places for both of them. Now I have plenty of limestone now, and I have uh, it's only six kilometers that away. Uh, yes, to get more. So yeah, but let's take a look at this uh, chiseled Brixton conglomerate. Quite nice, chised. <sighs> you are letting me down. But this limestone chisel pricks, yes, quite nice. I like the conglomerate more. And then we have limestone, yes, granite, meh, basalt, meh, meh, gapro, meh, shale, meh, claystone chisel pricks, yeah, it actually, meh. <laughs> <laughs> but church, yes, this is something that I might be using actually. So because it does, uh, yeah, yeah. I was also thinking if I like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it has potential with the limestone bricks, and I, I still haven't gotten myself the marble, so I really should do that too. But the thing with the marble is that it is in a very stupid place. Fine, yes. It is in here. This is the marble mountain that I found, and yeah, accessing it without. Uh, we could take a boat from here, and then, uh, yeah, getting here is not it. Oh, but yes, getting here is not quite easy. So uh, I'm kind of hoping that I could find it from a more convenient place. <laughs> Yes, because getting here, oh man, it starts to ache my heart just to, by saying this. Yeah, and this uh, uh, is this chart. <laughs> it is great. I can get more of that from there. I don't have to go north, up north where I found you. So yes, that is great because I'm thinking chart and uh, limestone bricks. So let's make a bit of a wall here too and see how they fit together. Oh my computer, computer, computer is about to die. <laughs> oh, please do not. Yeah. It sticks out a bit, doesn't it? That's not, that's not nice. Basil? Very dark. <laughs> yeah, we need to make rooms of basalt from itself. No, 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 good basalt. Yes, we shall not lose you. But yeah, this seems to be the problem, a, a problem a lot of the times. The smooth limestone is actually quite different color than the bricks. Yeah, I would actually like them to keep their tone, even though they are smooth. And, or, or, yeah, bricks, smooth. There is usually a bit of a color difference between them. I don't like it. But does, this does, I think this does look, yeah, I have to block that. Does look quite nice with the chair, yeah. It is tolerable, yeah, I think. But we cannot mix them like this. So now what we need to do is this. Now it is getting a bit awkward. Um, yes, I was making some glue there. There's a reason for it. Limestone slabs. Uh, why slabs is that uh, they won't collapse if I use it like this. And it sticks out too. <laughs> now. Ah, uh, yeah, conglomerate. Uh. <laughs> this is actually very hard. What do you think? All right, so now 
We have been everywhere in this episode. <laughs> and it was pretty, pretty much my intention. I wanted to take a bit of an easier day today. Yes. But let's get back to the Rosha stuff that we have been playing on and working on. And I just made myself some ingredients so that we can make this water pump. Right? Aha. Uh -huh. And I've made myself the auto worm here too. Um, they are temporarily here. <laughs> yes, uh, because um, I need to forge for starters. Uh, there is a thing called electric forge, but uh, I am kind of far from it still. I need to make myself some purple steel and all that, and I need to make myself the rolling machine. And I want to use these machines to make the rolling machine. But yes, I made the auto quern here, and we are going to hook this thing up first. So I have been preparing something. Louis, you coming? Oh, there you are. How about walking with me? It is nice to walk around with a friend. Yes, yeah, so I have been preparing a bit of a, a room here. As you can see, I've been doing work. It is not done quite yet. <laughs> and my intention is to actually move the machines. When I get the electric forge, I'm going to move them in here so that I can or place them in here, depending on how much they will take room. Uh, I'm thinking uh, I need to make uh, several of those auto querns, for example, at some point. And the reason, of course, why we do need the electric forge is that, uh, or why we cannot move the machines inside the tower is, that we need the electric forge, forge because that does not need airspace on top of it, unlike the forge that we are using now does. So understand that um, yeah, we cannot make a huge, or we could actually make a huge tube or, uh, or a chimney for a forge in our machine room, but uh, it kind of feels pointless. <laughs> so, so yes, that is why we are not moving the machines now. We are moving them later, right? Right. But, uh, but, but let's see about this. So I prepared this room uh, like this. There is a bit of a water tank here. It looks terrible. I don't know why. But uh, for, for some reason, the water does not render very well. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I took these pipes here. Louis, don't fall down. And uh, now what we are supposed to do, I think, is that we need to place this in water. Yes. Something like that, I think. And then we should take this pipes there and there up there. <laughs> So, um, yes, um, just a second. And now we've got the pipes. So I have never, or I have tested this once, but never in actual game. We need a, something from our tool belt, yes. A tool, <laughs> a special tool for this. There is a rule. There is a recipe for it. Quite simple. I already made it because, yeah, I don't think that you need to see me doing. No. Yes, I uh, know you have seen me doing. Um, it should work like this. Transferring 256 energy per tick. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Where are the fluid pipes? So, we are going to connect this here then, I think. And we, then we just wrench it. And this should start moving water automatically as soon as it gets power. So let's provide some, some power to it then. I have made myself this little thing here. There's a contraption that makes me energy. So let's... Oh, and we can, we can place water in that with a barrel, right? We tested it, didn't we? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Way to go! Um, so now, if we start this machine up by placing some charcoal in, there's a, there a hopper right behind that. And now you are supposed to start making power, yes. And now we out push. And proper, probably we need to show show it to wrench. 
How did we get here? Well, maybe we should go from here. Really, I really should not place the walls before everything is working, but, but I just want it. <laughs> um, yes, you are not getting water. No. The auto corn is going. <laughs> yeah, so this is providing power now. Maybe we should. I can hear the quern going. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, so uh, I don't think that we need to do this. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> not like that. That does not work. Oh, now I'm trapped in here. I'm not, I'm yes, like chat, and then. <laughs> yes, it is a bit cramped here. No? Come on. Like this. So uh, I don't think that I do... Yeah, it's transferring like this. So, so yeah. And this is pumping water out from here. Wrench. Show me information. Yeah. This is pumping water out, I think. So now we cannot because this is another full... Oh, man. <laughs> Break the glass. Yes. Like that. Now it is perfect and full and everything. So you are not getting water here. Why aren't you getting water then? Did you forget? The setting because I've broken it. Yes. Transferring 50 millibuckets per tick. Yeah. So now you should be moving water into the steam generator. Um, but I think that I, yes, uh, I, I think that I clicked the steam generator here. <laughs> um, hmm, probably need to replace this like this. Get water! Aha! So now, this is automatically feeding the steam generator here and I'm going to make uh, I've, I'm thinking making a couple of these too and I need to make those batteries too but, but, but let's go and check out what is going on with the quern then I did feed some flowers to it well uh, pretty randomly actually <laughs> just to see it working uh, and uh, what does it do if there is for example a flower that does not fit uh, or does not turn into dye will it get into the machine or, uh, or or do I need to make it so that I, I need to, yeah. Cilantro cannot go, go in there because sword fern, fern. I don't think that sword fern turns into any dye. Yeah, so, so the thing is that uh, if it gets fed by something that does not actually grind, it will halt. Like this, cilantro, nasturtium. Yeah, so, so so I really need to actually filter and see <laughs> which ones actually turn into dice and which ones don't. Why is there white dye in here? Louis, have you doing some experiments? Have you been doing this? I was supposed to say. Oh yes, bone meal. This is nice. And it is it is fairly good. It is it is not fastest machine in the world but it is it is fast enough for my needs for now because we are going to need a lot of bone because bone is very nice looking <laughs> so let's get some more bone to it uh, and, uh, trust me I have plenty Louis yeah and I really should clean my inventory <laughs> uh, uh, but yes uh, now, now let's see um, Yeah, it is corning like a beast. Louis, we are going to feed this machine a lot of bones. <laughs> because, yes, oh, take those. We don't want those things in there. So yeah, let me feed this machine now then. Uh, I'm going to place a barrel on top of that so that I can, yes, auto feed it. Aha. And that, I think, is that. 
for this episode yes so uh in the next episode i think we are start we will start working you know, with, with the blue uh, no blue steel purple steel it is it has some special things um tell me what do you think about the color palette of that uh, wall what should we do should we do some kind of uh, patterns with the uh, chiseled blocks and then like, like you can see there is a bit of an kind of an <laughs> inverted J or something like that should we make some kind of a patterns with, like that to give it a, a bit more texture and all and uh, what else yes about the meaning of life now did you really expect me to tell you <laughs> what is the meaning of life I mean, seriously, do you think that I know? I, like everyone, I have my opinions about what is the purpose, why are we here, what should we, we be doing, and all of that. But the meaning of life in itself, I think, is to find a meaning for your life. Being out of meaning or feeling like why am I here? My best advice for you for that question is go outside. Go figure out why are you there? Are you there for a walk? Are you there for a run? Are you watching flowers or bushes? Collecting pine cones? What is the meaning of your life? Really? Reproduces. We born human. We grow human. We die human. Our lives, the whole spectrum, we are human. Or at least we try to. We try to figure out what is a good human. We, what you say, bad human. Why are some humans so incredibly stupid? Why, why some are so intelligent? Why are we so different? And why we should not be? Why wouldn't we be different? So yes, the meaning of life. In short, eventually you will get it. We all will. <laughs> and to that bombshell, I think it is time to say, it has been a pleasure, like always. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now, regret later. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.